Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well today. So today I'm doing my first permanent low buy update and I'm so excited. I have so much to talk about. If you missed the first part or the introduction to this project, I'll link the video down below. It's just where I sort of like state the rules and my explanations for everything. Um, so yeah, you can go watch that if you want. So since I did the whole introduction thing, I have been noting down every single thing that I wanted to purchase. So since the, what was it, last last week of November and then all throughout December I have been keeping a wish list of all the things that I've wanted to purchase and it's a lot of things <laughs> like I knew this about myself but it still wasn't fun to put it in writing and like go through everything but yeah I thought what would make sense for this video is if I just start by going through my entire wish list and I did some weeks do little sort of reflections, um, sort of like end of week reflections and like how that week went. So I'm just going to talk about those in between all the wishes or like wants. And then I thought I'd share what I actually did purchase and like show you the things that I got uh, during this past month. And then by the end, I'm going to do like a full month reflection, like how I thought it went and, you know, just all my thoughts kind of if I have any new rules to add or anything to sort of revise a little bit. Um, when it comes to the rules. And then the part that I'm probably the most excited for is um, by the end, I'm just gonna take all the things that I still want and then transfer them onto my January wish list, which I think is gonna be really nice. I think it's gonna be super nice to sort of like remove all the clutter a little bit, like sort of declutter my wish list. No, that is not a thing we should start saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited for that part. I think that's gonna be so, so nice. So yeah, let's just get into the wish list. This shirt is like coming off. I'm so proud of it though. I knitted it myself. Let's see. I'm so, this is like, I'm so proud. Look at this. Look at this. Huh? God damn. So the first thing I added was a bedspread. I think it happens maybe like three times a year that I just get really, really focused and like somewhat obsessed with homeware and I just tend to like fixate on this one thing that I feel like my apartment needs and this month uh, it was apparently that time of the year and um, I was really really focused on a bedspread but yeah it's just so weird that I get like this weird craving for new sheets and stuff a couple of times a year like what is that and the next thing that I put on my wish list was a white turtleneck and I think it was because I started wearing a lot of my t-shirts with sort of long sleeve tees underneath uh, when I went to work and um, I just kind of got the idea that it would be really handy to have like sort of a white turtle slash polo neck to put underneath my white t-shirt. So I really wanted that and I found one on ASOS from and other stories. I shouldn't be on ASOS. I shouldn't be on sites that sell fast fashion because I don't want to buy fast fashion and yet I was just... I really, I was just committed to this turtleneck. I really wanted it. And it has this sort of like cut out here and it's just so nice. Look at it. It's so weird and like sci-fi kind of. I love it. I love a good cutout. Like I love cutouts. They remind me so so much of like sci-fi movies, um, which are like my favorite. They always have like really random cutouts. Anyways, I noted this down on my uh, wish list. I also noted down a moleskin journal uh, to sort of keep track of my, all of this, like to keep my wish list in sort of like a physical book. And I really, really wanted to get that. And I thought that was like, the, that would be the most handy thing. And that would be completely justifiable and stuff. At the same time, it works fine with my phone. So obviously this kind of month's wish list has a lot of stuff that I've also been thinking about for like a long time. Um, I think my upcoming like months and like wish lists are going to be a little bit shorter just because they're going to be a little bit more edited. But for this month I obviously added just kind of everything so that's why this uh, video is probably going to be a little bit long and like this wish list um, is probably going to be a little bit long. But yeah, one of those types of things were um, a pair of earrings that I've been wanting for a couple of years. They're from a brand called Alighieri. This is legit the most extra thing anyone has ever wanted. Like this, these earrings are just, they're so expensive. Yeah, they're just like very extra, but They've just been on my mind for ages and I've kind of wanted to get them for like various birthdays or Christmases or uh, getting her like highest marks for my master's dissertation and like all of those kind of like milestones I've been like wanting to get it for myself as like a present but it's just so expensive like they're so expensive um, that I just haven't been able to like pull the pull the trigger but they do pop up on vestiaire collective from time to time and um yeah we'll see i haven't quite gotten there yet but maybe 
maybe at some point I will. There's still something that I really want. Um, I also added a white linen dress to my wish list. This is obviously a very summery thing. Probably just gonna be something that I'm gonna look into more when like summer comes because I wouldn't be able to like wear it now anyways. I added a bike, um, preferably from the brand Tokyo Bikes because it looks really nice. <laughs> then I added bed sheets and I wanted them to be a specific type of beige, <laughs> which was the really stupid part. Also, I wanted them to be I wanted them to be linen, which I can't imagine being that comfortable, but I really don't know how my brain comes up with these. Maybe it's something that I saw, like dark beige linen bed sheets. I don't know. It was something that I really wanted. Then I added also like some things, something that I've been wanting for a long time. It's a pair of By Far boots um, by a brand called By Far. And they're just so cool and I buy them this like beautiful chocolate color. Yeah, I do have winter boots and stuff so it's not gonna be something that I'm looking to buy right now. Also, I would only buy those secondhand because they are very expensive. Then I noted down a monkey soft bra in white. I have, I think, three different colors of this one type of bra that they have in monkey and they're just so comfortable. They're like, I don't really wear bras but if I go to work and if I wear something that I have to somewhat be like, you know, not have my titties all the way out. Um, I wear those kind of like, they're just like kind of crop top bra things. Um, so yeah, and I don't have one in white, so I just really want one in white. But like every time I go to look at it and it like adds the shipping, I'm like, mm, no. And so like, I just can't be bothered. And like, I can't be bothered like picking it up from like a post office and I'm just really lazy. <laughs> I also want a Realization Par leopard skirt. Um, I've talked about this before on my channel where I got like a leopard dress from the thrift store to sort of dupe the leopard skirt thing. And it, I still, I really love that one. I like wear it all the time, but I still just kind of want the skirt version so I can like tuck things in and like wear it in a little bit of different ways. Um, but Realization Par is really expensive and yeah. I would just really like that skirt. Oh my god, this is like the first week we're still on. This is the first week that I've added all of these things. But in that first week, I unexpectedly had to pick up some medication. So that was actually my first thing that I purchased. And then that same day, I picked up new razor blades um, because I had run out of like razor blades. So those were the two things that I bought for the first week. Then I noted down a tattoo because I've honestly wanted, been wanting a new tattoo for ages. I have quite a few tattoos, but most of them I got late teens, mid to late teens, early 20s kind of. Um, and it's just been because of money. Like I haven't had any money when I've been studying, so there hasn't really been any money for tattoos. But, you know, as I like learned last month, I have actually had money. I've just spent it on different stuff. Like it's just been about priorities. Um, so I'm actually very excited that I put this on my wish list because it's gonna like remind me that I can set aside money for things like that instead of like spending it on God knows what. I also noted down like a couple of piercings. I really want like a conch piercing and I really want a piercing over here in my ear. The like regular hole in my ear or like ear piercings thing in like the soft part of your ear. I'm kind of considering doing that myself, um, but I don't think I will. It's just because when I was younger, I you, like a lot of these piercings have been, I've just like done them myself when I was 15 and emo. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of these are homemade, um, but don't, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it at home. Get someone professional to do it, please. Oh my god, this is gonna be the longest. I'm I'm not even done with week one. I really wanted a Fenty Puma hoodie. Still haven't really moved on uh, since Rihanna did her first collection with Puma. A scented candle. A new couch. Why? A carpet for the kitchen. New pillows. A new mirror which is something that I just kind of like permanently want. I have so many mirrors. Then it really got into the, the just like, I think just the urge to buy things because I just, I wrote something from Urban Outfitters secondhand, something from Free People, perhaps a coat secondhand, something cashmere, a big white cardigan, and a brown fluffy monkey coat that I have actually been wanting for a while. Okay, so that was the first week. That was a lot. I think the first week what I mainly learned was that this project is gonna force me to buy a lot of really boring stuff. Like, compared to all the other stuff that I put on the list this week, what I ended up with was medication 
and razor blades. And neither of those were particularly expensive, which was nice. But because those things also weren't that expensive, it also kind of made me realize that I find buying expensive things exciting, which is something that I didn't know about myself. And also, yikes. <laughs> like, why, why is it exciting for me to spend more on something? And it's also not that I'm only happy to buy things that are expensive, like, that also makes me sound like I have a lot of money to just like throw around, which I don't. But I think the whole investing or like putting down money for something that I know I'll be having a, for a long time is just like really exciting to me. And I think I think it's just when it's less expensive, it, it's less easy for me to sort of figure out if that's a thing that's happening or if it's just something that I'm getting for the sake of getting it. I mean, that obviously wasn't the case this week, but I think that I think it's mainly that feeling inside of me when it's like something expensive that feels like a good purchase, like it feels like a solid purchase in a way, if that makes sense. Also, I realized that I hadn't made a rule for medication, which I probably should. I actually had to get two types of medication for the first, for the same like sort of issue. I just decided that if it's something that's prescription medication, I don't have to count, count it as an item. But if it's something over the counter, I do have to count it as an item. So I just counted one, one of them were a prescription and the other one wasn't. So um, I just counted one item like for medication that week. Then the second week I added a scented candle, fake fur coat, cropped fake fur coat. Um, I think I saw someone on the street wearing it and it looked really good. She was walking like right past my house and now I want either a blue fake fur bomber or a red one. A new hair mask because I ran out. Horrorism Naming Contemporary Violence by Adriana Cavarero, uh, which is a book that I apparently want because it sounds cool. Then I added sunscreen because I hate the one that I have right now. It kind of have, has like little beads in it that kind of like upsets my skin and kind of hurts. Um, so I don't want to use that one anymore. I did a collab with Ana Luisa in the past month. Um, so I, ha I got like three items through there. And then I actually, that also made me want really small gold hoop earrings. And I've been wanting to get those for ages and I actually just went straight on to ASOS and like picked some up. So those, that was four items that week. And you'd think that would stop me from buying, but it didn't. <laughs> I ran out of my uh, retinol serum, so I wrote that on my wish list. And then I also needed to do some stuff for Ana Luisa on my Instagram and I needed a mirror for that. So I actually, I, I found one when I was like Christmas shopping. So I bought a mirror for Instagram and then I picked up the hair mask that I ran out of the um, week before. And this is when I like started to panic a little bit because I was like I already like exceeded my amount of items for like a couple weeks now and um, this is when I went to Ikea. It's a long story and it involves bed sheets again, but it's basically I can only film in this room, which is my bedroom these days because Casper is at home, we're in like lockdown. So I can't really sit anywhere else because his computer makes noise in the background, which is fine. I'll just film in here, but the lighting in, in here is very bad. And when I have, I only have um, like colored sort of bed sheets, like I have blue and pink and stuff. And when I film in here, the light sort of bounces off of it and makes everything one color. And so I just had to pick up some new ones and I was on a deadline because I did the collaboration so I just ha had to pick up um, white bed sheets um, so I just went to Ikea and because I was at Ikea which I I'm at very very rarely I picked up some stuff that we had been needed needing for a while which was a kitchen lamp a pillow and I also picked up an iPhone holder that I'll show you in a minute um, and like explain why I got that one but yeah I was overwhelmed at this point with the am amount of items that I'd been picking up then I found Another cutout white sweater that I wanted, some earrings that I wanted. I hadn't at this point picked up any items of clothing, which is good. That was one of my like main things that I wanted to focus on. But yeah, then I wrote a nice vintage tee because my old white t-shirts, like the, the my oversized ones that I've like slept in and like just wear around the house and stuff, all of them has, have gotten really stained. This is not something that I want to go out specifically to look for, but it is something that I'm just going to like note mentally and just like keep an eye out for. This was the time of month where I wanted to buy the white turtleneck again so bad that I opened my bank account to like see how much money I had and I just closed it right back down. <laughs> I actually this week had to buy more. Uh, what are we even in? I think this was like the middle of the third week. 
God damn it, I think about buying a lot of stuff all. Wow. I actually had to buy more medication, but I wasn't, they were both prescriptions, so according to that rule, I didn't add them to the, the list or like the item count. But I, this also made me kind of want to change that rule already. So I've actually settled on a new rule for next, like the following months, which is I have to count medication if it exceeds 100 Danish, like a piece. And then uh, the past couple of them were just like things that I really wanted. A tinted mirror. This is when we got into like a really weird wants. I mean, a mug which is a constant want in my life. Then a pair of gloves, which I actually really need um, because I don't have any pair of gloves. So that would be really handy. And that was, that is my wish list sort of finished. I'm sorry that that took such a long time. Um, and the wish list is definitely not gonna be hopefully as long in the next couple of months or like in the following months. But obviously I did just have to add everything that I've, I've been thinking about for a long time. So in total, I picked up 12 items, which is four more than I am allowed to. But I mean, the reason that I also made the whole rolling, rolling over of items is that I would be able to not sort of limit myself completely um, so that, uh, that I would have some wiggle room if I did, for example, go to Ikea and pick up some stuff. Um, or if I like felt like I needed something. I actually think I even forgot to mention that in my introduction video that I am allowing the two items per week to roll over into the next week if I don't buy any items and then also if I do buy more items than two a week um, I sort of take them from the following week. Yeah, so I bought 12 items this month instead of eight that I was allowed to which means for the first two weeks of January, I am on a no buy, which I'm actually fine with. I think it might even be a good thing because I remember back in 2019 when I did the no buy, the, the nicest thing was actually just the first sort of month or like the first couple of months where you just sort of like reset your brain in a little bit. Like the whole no buy thing can be really good for that, I think. Um, so I'm actually, I don't have a problem with being on a no buy for the first couple of weeks in January. I don't know if I made a rule that I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna make a rule that if I don't buy any clothing, which I didn't, I didn't buy any clothing for the past month, I can roll over the clothing items that I haven't purchased. In January, I actually can, I'm allowed to buy four clothing items, which I don't think I will, but I think it's just gonna be really handy, especially when I'm gonna be able to go to thrift stores again and stuff, to have like sort of a little bit of like a saved up amount of clothing items that I can, that I'm allowed to, to buy. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna run really quickly through the items that I actually, just like showing you the items that I picked up, sort of explain maybe a little bit more as to why these ones were the ones that I prioritized. Usually what I would do and what I will be doing going forward, I would also include the things that I had received as presents. So I would usually show you what I got for Christmas, but this video is just gonna be so long already, I think. So what I'm actually gonna do, if you guys are interested, I can do just like a separate sort of bonus video to this one, which is just essentially what I got for Christmas. Just so I can, also for myself, so I can just sort of like monitor all the things that goes into my life or like comes into my life. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing that and not show you the things I actually got for Christmas in this video. But anyways, um, so medication. Don't think that's very interesting to show you, but the first thing I did pick up was um, just a little pack of five razor blades. I have one of these sort of, I don't remember the name of this, but I have one of these safety razors where you can sort of switch out the razor blades. So that was the first week medication and razor blades. Then the week after that, I got the tiny hoop earrings. I'll just insert like a picture on the screen. It was just like a little pack. But then that same week, I also did get a couple of things from Anna Luisa because I was doing a collaboration with them. And I don't think I actually mentioned when I did the collapse that I've been doing with them I don't think I ever mentioned that the reason that I actually thought that they also were a really good fit for me is because I've always really been mainly into silver jewelry I didn't really have any gold jewelry pieces and I just thought it would be a really handy way to sort of kind of actually have some gold, um, so <laughs> some gold pieces. So that week I got the Yusuf, um, necklace, which is beautiful. It's just, I've been wearing this so much and I actually want this in silver. So I'm going to put that on my wish list because this is just so, it's so beautiful. Like I really, it's lovely, really. <laughs> and then I got a pair of mini Abbey earrings that looks like this. They're just like tiny, uh, they're the ones that I'm wearing, but just like in the mini format. And um, they're also really cute. Um, so I'm also very happy with those. And then lastly, I got a pair of sort of like huggy earrings, um, like hoops, 
with tiny pearls. One of them have actually, I've just been wearing permanently in this one, or like in this piercing, which I know you're not really supposed to because it'll obviously like make the earring kind of like tarnish and like fade quicker. And I don't want to lose any of the pearls, um, but so far nothing has happened. Um, Ana Luisa, I think is really good quality. So those were really, really lovely, lovely pieces. I honestly really, really like Ana Luisa. That's also like why I wanted to include collaboration pieces that comes into my life in this sort of permanent low buy because I think it's important to me that I guess to communicate that I'm all the things that I'm all the, the brands that I'm choosing to collaborate with have very very like have I have reasons for actually choosing to collaborate with them and that I, it's not just to get free stuff kind of it's something that serves a function in my life so yeah that was just I don't know, important to me to mention, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah, then I picked up a mirror for Instagram, which has been incredibly handy. Um, it's also just something that I've been having on like my coffee table with like things on it, so it looks really nice. It was so inexpensive. I think it was like 20. I got it at a chain. We have in Denmark called, oh my God, this top. Um, I got it at a chain called System Grain that we have here in Denmark, um, and it was very, very inexpensive. And then I picked up the hair mask, which is the Garnier Response Intensely Caring Mask. My hair cannot thrive without this. Um, I'm highly considering just not start like not using conditioner anymore and just buying this because it's just my hair just loves it. The bed sheets that I picked up, I'm sitting with right now. I kind of have to film with them at the moment to have any sort of light. I haven't put up the lamp yet, so I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna insert a picture and I also got a pillow and then the iPhone holder um, it just looks like this it was just something that I found at Ikea when I was there my reason for picking this up is because I have a lot of shoulder issues the whole scrolling motion really aggravates my like I have a lot of arm pains in like sort of both sides but mainly my right side so it's just really handy to be able to put my phone into something and then just like stand in front of it and do things with it like this um, instead of having to hold it because this it's just like, it makes my, like I'm like permanently in pain with my shoulder. Yeah, anything that could sort of relieve that um, I thought would be really handy. And I think those were maybe the last things that I picked up. I definitely thought it was interesting that even after reaching the amount of items that I was allowed to buy that month, I still kept like seeking out shopping experiences. I still kept seeking out items. I would go on to ASOS, I would go on to Truva, all just like sort of like homeware sites and stuff like that. And fast fashion sites also, which I don't know why I'm not buying from them anyway, so it's really stupid. But I would just continue to do that even even when I reached my like final item count and even when I exceeded my final item count, like with the IKEA purchases, I would still go seek out things. But I mean, that's what this project is for too. It's like kind of monitoring my habits. But yeah, finally I did write down some like end of the month uh, reflection points. First off, I am actually really disappointed that I didn't stick to my like set item amount. Um, it was just something that was a little bit, I think mainly annoying because it was the first month and I really wanted to do well. At the same time, when I look back at the items that I did get, it's not that I went crazy overboard and it's not like I got some things that were really unnecessary and stuff. I think the main thing that I could have waited with were the earrings, but at the same time, those are going to be something that I'm going to have forever, <laughs> basically. So I'm really good with like keeping earrings usually, so I usually have the same jewelry for years and years and I wear the same stuff over and over again. So it's it wasn't a bad purchase, but it, it could have waited until the next month, I think. And yeah, so I'm actually very curious to see how the next month turns out to be, whether or not the reason for exceeding my item amount was because I wasn't strict with myself or if it was just because it was one of those months. The reason that I did the whole rollover thing is that so that I can have like some sort of wiggle room. The kitchen lamp, for example, was something that I bought with Casper, like it was his money and mine. And it was something that I bought for our apartment. And I'm in the future not gonna, I'm not gonna tell him like, no, we can't buy that because I have a set item that I've exceed or like, do you know what I mean? Like I, so common items is a little bit of a gray area. I actually wasn't even sure whether or not to include those in like my item count, but I don't th I don't think I would if I had more money, but because I don't have that much money, I think I have to count them like just because I think it is a f 
very valid argument or like very valid reason that I can't buy any more because I had to buy medication this week or I can't buy any more things because I had to buy a kitchen lamp for the apartment with my partner. It, it has to include everything that comes into my life because I, I do have like a certain amount of money available for all purchases. So um, so yeah, I, I was a little bit like, should I even count the, the common items? But I did and I'm gonna continue to do um, for now at least. As I suspected though, two items was a little bit restrictive. I mentioned this in my introduction video that I wasn't sure two items wa was like was gonna be enough um, and that I'd actually, <laughs> initially I actually wanted to set it for three items a week. If I had done that, I wouldn't have exceeded the amount, but um, every time I talk to people and like comments in my last video and like when I like mention it to people I know, everyone would be like, oh yeah, two items a week. That's actually, yeah, that sounds really very doable. So I don't know if it's, if it's because they sort of all underestimate how many things you actually go through or like that you actually bring into your life each month or if it's because I just go through a lot of things personally. And to be honest, I'm kind of fearing the, the latter. <laughs> I think I just go through a lot of things. I think I seek out a lot of things and like, yeah, as you can tell by my enormous wish list, um, I just, my my mind produces a lot of wants. <laughs> I would really, really like to sort of up the item count to three items a month. Maybe I'll do that eventually, um, but for now I, I'm gonna stick to the two items. I just wanna kinda see if this was like sort of an off month or if, if I do bring, that amount of items in every month. Um, but I was just thinking, even if, if it's because I do bring that amount of items in every month, that is the thing that I want to change. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stick to two a month. And this means that I obviously went way over the amount of um, items that I should have been purchasing. So yeah, I'm gonna do a, a no buy for the first two weeks of January and um, yeah, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be fine. But I think that also mainly just showed me that what I need is patience like i need to be more patient with like purchases and just i mean in general i'm a very impatient person it's not just like when it comes to shopping i'm i'm very impatient when it do comes to like shopping i just get these cravings sort of like a, a mixture of like a want and an obsession a little bit and those goes away and what i remember learning from my no buy year was that there's really nothing you need and you can survive without getting the lovely um, sci-fi turtleneck. <laughs> yeah, what if it does sell out? Like, that doesn't mean that you have the money right now to buy it. Like, it, that, it's really a separate thing. So yeah, I just really need to have patience with these things because they go away eventually. And I mean, that's what the wish list is for in the first place, is to like identify the things that reoccur over a long period of time um, so that I'm, I might actually start look, looking into getting it. I noticed that I really build things up in a very sort of kind of like cult products. Like I, I feel like I apply the cult products status to things that I haven't even touched yet, like things I don't own. And I think it's just a little bit dangerous because it gets it, it makes it a lot more justifiable to then get it because in my mind it's like, oh well it's this incredibly important thing for me to own, which will then like justify me getting it and then when I actually get it, that sort of has worn off already, kind of. Even if it hasn't, like even if it is everything that I've made it up to be. It's just like, how can you know that before buying it? Like, why am I, why is my brain doing that to a thing? It's just a thing, you know? <laughs> but yeah, those were actually all of the sort of reflections. But I'm gonna move into what I actually am very excited uh, for, which is moving things from my November wish list onto my. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, my November and December wish list onto my January wish list. I think what I really want to add, I still want a bedspread, um, but I haven't really settled on any one, any particular one. Same with the white turtleneck. I still want a white turtleneck, but maybe I'll just knit one myself. I'm gonna keep the earrings, the Aligieri uh, earrings on there, and I'm also gonna be adding that I want the Yusuf uh, necklace from Ana Luisa in silver. I'm gonna add that to my wish list as well. I'm also gonna keep the white linen dress and a bike. 
Um, I'm also gonna keep that on too. Same as with the by far boots and the monkey bra. Let's see, I mean, yes, a tattoo. Yes, a piercing. Mm, what else? I feel like I still want the realization parse skirt. I don't really see myself buying it right now. And I don't really know if I ever will, but I'm gonna keep it on for now. I still want the fluffy coat from Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I still want. Let's see a new sunscreen. I actually don't I feel like a lot of these I don't really I don't really need to add a white t-shirt Which is a stupid thing because I have a million of them But at the same time it's an oversized white t-shirt meant for like wearing at home and like sleeping in so I'm gonna keep that a tinted mirror this is something that I hope that I will erase next month But I'm still gonna keep it for now because right now I still really want one a mug I actually want two mugs and I've already found the ones that I want and they're ones from uh, a Danish brand called Studio Aha and I'm gonna add that and those are actually the things that I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna keep on my wish list but anyways I am going to go now I've been talking for so long the whole wish list thing definitely took a lot longer than I planned probably or that I even realized I knew it was gonna take a long time but that is also sort of like the focus of this project like it's what I sort of use to I guess just like keep track of everything so yeah but if you have any ideas or if, if you have any like way you would like for me to structure these videos um, that would be more handy or more enjoyable for you to see um, please let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I'm also so excited because so many of you said you were gonna do this as well. So I'm so, so excited to hear how you guys were doing and if you like how you're feeling and like what you ended up getting, if anything. Um, a, a couple of you were also like saying that you have been like on a no buy for such a long time and I'm so, so impressed. Um, that sounds really cool. And I would ideally like to be down to just maybe getting two items a month. So yeah. Please let me know how you guys are doing and how you have been feeling lately. I hope you had a lovely Christmas for those of you celebrating and um, a happy, happy New Year's Eve. I was just at home, literally, <laughs> with Casper, so that was really cozy. We had excellent food and um, yeah. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. Bye! Knitwear, knitwear, knitwear. Need where, need where, need where. I mean, look at this. Ugh. I am amazing.